So we have just been to Nanalex in Saarbrücken in Germany and young Betty has done well. Florian Kessler, uh, the MD of Nanalex, was very complimentary. He adored the car secretly, very secretly, to the point where not even I was there. He, um, he said he, he, just, he just loved it to pieces. Um, yeah, but because there are many pieces of the car. <laughs> the um, good news is that she's been running mechanically almost perfectly, with the slight exception of a bit of smoke when you're doing more than 120 miles an hour, if you then let off the throttle, uh, it would appear yes. that this car, like say a BMW M3 competition, has water injection. But a BMW M3 competition injects that water through a very specialist motorsport system. Not through uh, the head gasket. Yeah, Betty does coolant instead of water through the head gasket, hence the white smoke. Um, but, you know, she's a game old bird. She's, uh, yeah, she did well. She did she well. Did well. There were many people who looked in absolute shock, horror, and I suspect admiration. Uh, yeah, they thought we, we were going to die. They thought that they were going to die too. Well, that, that is that. Um, but now that we have working rear brake calipers, I've found that it's it much easier to avoid solid objects yeah. if pushed. Um, but there is quite a lot more brake travel. So you, you get a good sort of six inches of and uh, then, you, then you get some <laughs> moderate deceleration, um, moderate at most. Um, and, and I'm not entirely sure the ABS works anymore is the only other concern because she seems to be locking up and then none of the judder judder that you get from ABS. Apart from that though, she's grand and we are done of this trip total 790.6 miles so far. Uh, so far and we have about the same again to do um, and tomorrow we are with Flex uh, all day, the guys who make the machine polishers um, and that's in Stuttgart and then we are getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning again. Um, Friday. Yeah, to drive all the way back and we have 12 hours to make it from Stuttgart to Sirencester, including the Channel Tunnel which has already been on delays and stuff on our way out. So yes, it's going to be a real challenge for Rothberg. our lovely Betty. Yes, it's spelled wrong. Um, so uh, yeah, no, it's been good and as I say there's been the odd funny smell, gearbox train's been a bit odd, yeah. the steering is getting a bit worse you were saying. Yeah, the, the steering feels more notchy than before. It was notchy to begin with. No, it seems to be getting worse. Uh, the gearbox is definitely getting slower. It does not want to move anymore. Yes, well, well the way it works is you put it into drive from neutral. Um, and then it decides when it wants to move. Whether that could be three seconds. No, it could be like a good 10 seconds when the lights are on green. Yes, that's awkward. And yeah, we're just sitting there with people waiting to go and trying to follow a convoy car in front and that's gone and we haven't moved. Yeah, we're left marooned. And the problem is if you blip the throttle to try and encourage it, uh, the net result is it then suddenly jerks forward and you feel that whatever's left of the torque converter is uh, is no longer there. So that's a bit troublesome. Um, and the steering, it's like um, if anybody remembers back to the 90s when you had those Sega Rally games. Uh, and I think and the it options jolts were, you round, yeah, yeah. yes. Force feedback, it's kind of like that, but with no appreciable logic to why it's doing it. Yeah, it, it just likes doing it. So I'm thinking either rack or power steering pump, one of the two. Both, of course, are really cheap and easy to fix on these cars, so... Both mean it should end up in the scrapyard. That's not a problem. Um, I will end up in the scrapyard to find the parts for the car. Um, because it's the only place where they're left. Well, they're a lot cheaper there, it has to be said. But anyway, we shall battle on into the night. We're due to get into Stuttgart after sort of 10, 11 o'clock at night. Um, as I say, we've been on the trot from early today, so uh, that's enough from us. And we shall give you another update on day three of our adventure.